Hey guys, this is Feeding Frenzy 91, and I'd like to just come at you with this video on whether Clementine actually, um, it's the whole I thought you were dead scene. Now, let me just clarify, I have not played Season 2, Episode 1 yet, but that's been flooding the internet, and I watched the little part of it where, you know, she looks shocked and she's like, I thought you were dead. And I'm trying to figure out who that is. Now, since I haven't played Season 2, I'm going to take my list completely from Season 1. So this is the list of people that I think may be the I thought you were dead thing. So we got Lee, Vernon, Glenn, um, one of the St. John's, Chet, and Molly. Now what I'm going to do here is I'm going to go through that list. I'm, I'm just going to cross names off as I find the reason that it wouldn't be one of them. Let's just start from the least important to the most important ones. Now... From that list, we have Chet and we have Glenn. Those two were only in episode one, and Chet may be dead depending on your choice. But if he isn't, then yes, he could be the one that Clementine said that, but I doubt she would say that about Chet because she had no reason to think Chet was dead. Okay? No reason whatsoever to think that Chet was not, was, was not alive because if, if he didn't, wasn't a walker. And in that case, he would be dead. So him coming back would be very shocking. So, plus I doubt Cameron time to remember him after like two and some years, some odd years. It's just too long. All right, now Glenn. Glenn, she may she, she once again she would have no reason to think that Glenn was dead. So once again we're gonna cross Glenn off the list. We've already crossed Chet. We're gonna cross Glenn off the list because one I think Glenn is actually dead by two years from then because you know he got those of you who don't read the comics spo spoilers warning. But Glenn does get killed in the comics. So, that's two crossed off the list. Let's go to Molly. Molly, once again, is someone who I think that Clementine would not think is dead. So there's no reason she would be dead shocked to find Molly alive. Even if Lee... Because, remember, if, if it, the only way Molly doesn't survive um, or doesn't come back with you from Crawford is if Clementine doesn't come with you. So she wouldn't know too much about Molly, you know, being lost anyway, since she wasn't there. So let's cross Molly off that list as well. All right. We still have Vernon, one of the St. John's, Lee, Lily, and Kenny. Now, let's go with Vernon. Now, Vernon never was confirmed really dead. It was just unknown. It's assumed dead because the cancer survivors are with the other group in 400 days without Vernon. But we never really know whether he died or not. So um, with Vernon, she could be saying, I thought you were dead. But the problem is that Clementine wasn't there when Vernon sold the boat. And, and there was no way Clementine would know one way or the other whether Vernon was dead. Because Clementine doesn't even know that the boat got taken or anything like that. I mean, Omid and Chris could have told her. But neither of them would have known about Vernon's um, or whatever happened to the boat or anything like that. So I doubt that, um, that Clementine would have any way to know that Vernon's dead. Or even if he is dead. So... Cross Vernon off that list. Okay, we're getting down to important people. Let's just go with one of the St. John's. Now that, of course, is only if you, you spared at least one of them in the f season one. Now, the thing about this is that Clementine, when she says, I thought you were dead, she doesn't look too happy, but she could just be surprised as well. But she looks more shocked than anything, right? I feel like if it was someone she really cared about, she would have a smile on her face or something. But perhaps it's just she's too shocked. All right. The reason I don't think it's one of the St. John's is because that would require the player to spare them, which would, which would mean that um, that preview could only happen to people who were had spared the St. John's. All right. So we're down to three characters who I think are the most common three characters that people say it is. All right. Let's go down. Lee, Lily, and Kenny. Let's start with Lily. Lily, I doubt it is. Okay. Why do I doubt it's Lily? Because Lily, once again, and even if you left her on the side of the road, I doubt Clem would look at her with that amount of shock if she's alive. Because even if you leave her on the side of the road, Lily, um, she still never watched um, Lily die. So I think it's either someone who someone told her was dead or someone um, that she actually thought she saw die. Now, so let's cross Lily off that list because Lily coming back I don't think would be a shock to Clem. Not that much, at least. Not as much as um, she appeared to be in shock 
when she's asked the question. All right, so that leaves Kenny and Lee. Lee would fit the criteria to a T, okay? Lee Clementine basically watched this guy die, and if she did shoot him, as I, I actually have a video whether she missed a shot or not, she would even be more surprised if he's alive. So Lee fits the criteria to a T, but I doubt it's Lee. Why? Because if Lee is alive, which most people think he isn't, if Lee is alive, I think that they wouldn't bring him this early. One. Two. I don't think Lee is going to get come back like when Clementine's with the other group. I just, I just don't think, I don't see Lee just walking up and Clementine like, I thought you were dead. I see Clementine passing out. I see Clementine running or having this huge smile on his face or crying or something. I don't just see her going through the corner and like, I, I feel like she'll just be completely speechless and then just fall to the ground. All right, so I don't think it's Lee. That leaves Kenny. I have to admit, Kenny is the most probable. Why? Because most likely Kristen Omid would have told Clementine of Kenny's death. And that amount of shock she would have had would make sense for Kenny. The problem is, once again, I don't think it's Kenny because I don't think that um, they're going to bring Kenny this quickly. I don't think they're going to bring Kenny in episode 2. I think Kenny will come earliest in episode 3. But Kenny is actually the most viable option for Clementine to both be that shocked and for the person to come back. Okay? It's just it just makes more sense. Kenny is the has is the most likely to be the character who Clementine says, I thought you were dead too. Okay? But remember, there is always the possibility. Now I didn't play the episode one yet, so there's a possibility that someone from episode one who she thought was dead as well. It's also the possibility that it's someone we've never met. And it would be terrible if Telltale did this to us. But imagine if it was like uh, Clementine's aunt. <laughs> yeah, just imagine that. Clementine's aunt. Or, yeah, just imagine that. Like, just think about it. I mean, it could be that. It could be Clementine's aunt. It could be Clementine's dog for all we know. But, uh, actually, I don't think it would be Clementine's dog because she'd be looking down, not up. But, still, it could be someone we've never met. It could be someone from Clementine's past who we've never seen before, and Telltale would be cruel, cruel people to do that to us. But that's possible. And there's also the possibility that it could be someone who was lost to the group in episode 2, but who came back. Like, let's say someone who um, you, th you thought was dead in episode 2, and they come back at the end of the episode. It could be someone like that, and, and that would be completely legit, and it would suck. Because everybody's waiting for someone to come back from the past, and... It could be someone who's who we don't even meet till episode two. Let's say a new member who joins the group in episode two and then like um, gets shot in the heart and Clementine runs and then she, um, comes back and then like, oh, I thought you were dead. It could be something as simple as that and they could be, Telltale would be very cruel for doing that. Yeah, so that's just my theory. Telltale could be completely messing with us. They could be like, um, oh, this person is um, someone from the past and it could be someone who we literally meet in episode two we think dies and then comes right back. It could be something like that. It could be something really messed up. But what do you guys think? Do you guys think it's someone from the past? Do you guys think it's someone we've never met? Do you guys think it's anyone that was on my list? Or do you think it's someone else? Alright, well, thanks for, com thanks for um, watching this video. Like, comment, subscribe, and God bless.